Okay, so I'm going to explain how to create a new layer with a new CRS and then I'm going to explain why do I want to do it. So this is Aruba, an island in the Caribbean. And these are the roads in Aruba and that's a layer. And if I want a new layer with a new CRS, currently it's defined as WGS84. If I want to work on it in a new CRS, I right click, save as, and like any new file I create, I have to define its name. And since I want to change the CRS, I press here, this little globe here, and I can say select the CRS. It's an endless list, but I did some googling and I found what ESPG I want to use, it's this one, you will not have it here, you will only have it here. I confirm, I add the new file to the map, and again, I confirm, and I have the new layer. I'll pause a moment and calculate the length of the roads for each of those two road layers. Uh, to be able to understand why did I do it. Okay, so like every layer or every vectoric layer, these two layers have attributes associated with them. And I calculated in the attributes table if this is one layer, and that's the other layer. I cal calculated the length of each road. If we can compare the length, this one has 5,692 meters, and here it's a different number. Not by much, but it's different. And that's because of the different ellipsoid I use or whatever in the datum. So this is why I have to change sometimes coordinate reference systems. And that's the end of this uh, screencast.